Hi, welcome to Thomas Brown Coaching. Today I want to look at perfectionism versus gratitude, satisfaction and progress. What perfection is to many people is something that we want to reach that is the best it can possibly be before we even get there. I think perfection for a lot of people can involve a lot of thinking and a lot of procrastination. Um, when we're when we're doing something and we get started in something, we can be very motivated at the beginning to get to get to the place where we want to be. And before we even let's say get it to a place where we can launch it or introduce it to other people, we want it to be the best possible product or the best possible service it can possibly be. And what is that really? Like it is different things to different people. But it's also looking at perfectionism, and I'm guilty of this as well in the past. I would have classed myself as a perfectionist. And I would say a lot of the time being like that has held me back. Um, nothing was ever good enough or nothing would ever reach that level that I was happy with. Uh, and let to let people see it or let people kind of be involved in it. I was never happy to actually show my work to others because I never thought it was finished. And that's one thing that can come with perfectionism. It's like, is it ever good enough? Is it ever finished? Is this worthy for people to see yet? Or is it worthy of people to view? Is it, does it match what you want people to see, you know? And a lot of insecurities can come from seeking or trying to seek perfection. And it can hold us back a lot of the time. So I don't like to use perfection as an example of where we would like to go or what we would like to attain. Yes, certain people um, will want to, let's say, say oh, uh, what I'm doing, it has to be perfect. It has to be this. It has to be that before I let it out. But it does really kind of limit our progress with a lot of things we want to do, whether it be projects or business. Um, even if we want to do something something as a hobby that we want people to see. A lot of it comes back to how people view it and is it good enough compared to what other people have. Um, and what I'd like to kind of say to that is to look at other things that will kind of make you progress better or progress in a faster pace rather than kind of holding on to perfection or trying to seek perfection and I do say in other videos uh, about gratitude um, first of all this is kind of a ritual that I, I like to go to is kind of being grounded in what I have at the moment um, what, what my skills are what my talents are uh, with my strengths but also what I have around me um, and what kind of gives me gives me um, the ability to kind of move forward. This is my grounding, is my gratitude. And uh, to also be satisfied with what I do. Like when something isn't perfect and something doesn't go to plan, like certain videos that I have done, um, instead of, let's say, going back and doing those videos over and over and over again, like a hundred times, I might not want to do a video the next day after doing a hundred videos the day before. So I try to be, you know, the best I can be when I'm, uh, when I'm doing the main video and to try and limit the amount of times I do it and then just be satisfied with it. That's a big thing. Um, like not everything at the beginning of something will be perfect. And that just, that will come with time. Like you will build your experience with these things. Um, when you practice something, when you put it into practice, you are doing it every day and steadily will get better. You'll get more comfortable with what you're doing. And yes, like being, like part of it is making mistakes as we go along. We kind of, sometimes we can learn more from those mistakes or we can learn something from, um, an accident, you know, just an accident, uh, or yeah, 
an accident or a mistake, we can just learn something brand new because we're doing it constantly. We'll come across something as we're doing it. Whereas we're, if we're just focused, if we just have tunnel vision on this is what I want to achieve, but it's never good enough, we kind of lose focus of other options that might be out there. Um, because all we're doing is we're focused on that one thing that we want to get right. Um, and then, yeah, progress comes from that. So if we're doing something um, that we're satisfied, just satisfied, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm satisfied that the videos I'm doing for now are good enough. You know, I will get better at them as I go along, but for now I am satisfied. And that satisfaction is progress. You know, um, it helps me move forward onto the next one, onto the next project and not to dwell on things. So that's where um, having other steps apart from trying to seek perfection kind of comes in. You know, you have if something is holding you back, then don't let that thing overwhelm you, you know. Don't let a certain elements overwhelm you and keep you in a certain place where you're not moving. You know, if something isn't working, like let it be for now and move on to the next thing um, and keep on going. You know, do the easy things first, the things that you find to be the easiest to achieve to do first and then focus on what you find more difficult. And yeah, like perfectionism can be one of those things as a double edged sword. When we want something to be really, really, really good and really right before we put it out and we let people see it. And even for us, we want it to be perfect just for us. Um, you know, to reach that can really, really debilitate us at times. Um, to have such a high level of uh, expectation for ourselves um, doesn't really doesn't really bode well with trying something new, you know. And uh, if we're trying something something new or like a new approach to something that we've never done before, we're going to face difficulty and at certain hurdles when we stop or when we look at them and we say that's not good enough that's not this that's not that it can really like stop us from moving forward even even in other industries in most other industries you know there's always a draft one a draft two or different iterations even in let's say mobile app development or software engineering you know they'll they know going in that there will be um, bugs in the system or bugs in the code. Um, someone that's trying to create the perfect algorithm from the beginning, you know, um, that doesn't really exist in that world. They have people that will just work through those bugs as another team uh, to make sure that it's, that it's right. And then when you have different heads looking at these things, um, they'll look at different avenues and different options that they can add on. And that's kind of what we do when we progress. You know, once we're in it and once we're doing it, you know, we find all of these other things. That, oh, maybe we can add this on or maybe we can try this. And maybe this won't work. Maybe that won't work. Maybe this will work. And that's the thing that works. If we're stuck in the zone of perfecting this one thing, we're just stuck in that. Um we don't get to see those other options. Those other options might, might not even become available. Even if they're not kind of worthwhile following, uh, they might be, other things might be, but if we're just stuck in this one place, we don't get to see that. We don't get to see what's out there. Um, yeah, and for anyone that has ever tried something new or wants to progress with something that they, they never have before, <laughs> mistakes and accidents and things like that are part of the process and that's what makes us stronger you know it's definitely a thing that makes us stronger and um, also another part of it is let's say we want to propose something to other people and um, we want to get new customers and we get rejected 
you know uh we might some people might see that oh i got rejected i'm not good enough the ones that keep on pushing it you know keep on progressing and get used to rejection and um, that's the team itself <laughs> people getting used to rejection they, like they see no as just oh yeah whatever and they move on they keep going with it um or there's the ones that don't take no for an answer you know being the perfect kind of salesman that's the way you can look at it um you will get rejected and try to with certain things and try to kind of accept that rejection and don't let it kind of get get into you and get uh let it get you down just keep on moving forward if you if it's something that you believe in and it's something that it's the people yeah it's the people that believe in themselves as well once you believe in yourself and you have like faith in your own ability and your product or your service or whatever you're doing uh, next and whatever you want to achieve that is the main thing is that self-belief and perfectionism kind of puts a dent in the works when it comes to that you know I think perfectionism is one of these things that's you know a very 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 high standard that is very hard to achieve um, and difficult to achieve for ourselves a lot of pressure to put on ourselves so instead of trying to seek uh, perfection, just try it, keep progressing, doing it, do it every day and be happy with what you have and be happy with what you produce. And then if that needs changes along the way, change it as long as you just keep on doing it and keep on trying it. And that's the main thing. Yeah, so uh, I hope this video helped. Um, as usual, please like and su subscribe. <laughs> uh, if you would like... Uh, I say I'm saying this in most of my videos now. If you would like me to talk about any specific things, please add it in a comment, and I will give it a go. If it's something that kind of is within my realm, <laughs> um, and yeah, I don't like any mistakes I make. This is part of the process for me, so uh, I'm not editing them out. I'm just going to try and progress and get better. Uh, at them as I go along and be satisfied with what I produce, you know, because I could be all day uh, making these videos and I prefer to move on to something else that I'm working on. So yeah, yeah, until next time, um, I hope you have a very pleasant day and a very pleasant week and yeah, just get doing it and keep progressing and best of luck with that. Take care. Bye.